Hello, welcome to another episode and today is a little bit of a real talk video because I wanted to share my experiences of the things that I've learned having not been able to fully communicate on a day-to-day -day basis for nearly four years. Now whether I'm right or wrong in terms of my commitment to learn an Italian is beside the point. I think, you know, I'm on that journey now to learn the language but I've definitely had some experiences and appreciated language on a much deeper level than I think I've ever done in my whole life and that's what we're talking about today so let's get into the video. Let's start with like the first thing that I've learned and it is quite simply that words are only a fraction of what communication is all about. Now of course words make life so much easier, being able to understand what people say to you, being able to verbally communicate your needs and your desires, yes absolutely, like it makes your life bearable, it makes things easy, it's necessary. But when you really think about it, words are only a small percentage of what communication is about. One thing that I have really come to understand in nearly four years is how people communicate in other ways. They say that actions speak louder than words and I have to say, yes, this is something I 100% agree with. The way somebody acts towards you, the gestures, the behavior that they demonstrate towards you, how they are as a person, how they may present themselves, this 100% communicates more to me than what they may verbally tell me. And I think I've really come to understand this, like from my own experiences here when I've not been able to speak, but people have been very accommodating and they've helped me in other ways, like through gestures, through actions, through little things that they have done to help me to feel included and to help me to understand what I'm doing have shown me the true power of communication and have made me realize that yes, you know what, you can get by and not speak. Of course, it doesn't give you like a full bodied experience, if you like, especially of living here in Italy, but words are only a part, one little fraction of the communication process. Body language, actions, gestures, they all play a role and they can certainly tell you more about a person's character than what may leave their mouth ever would. And the second thing that I've come to really understand is that words can often be misused and overused as well. So I'll give you an example. In Italy, it's really common for people to address women as like Bella, Bella, and men as like Bello. But this is a term that like everybody will use from the person in the shop to the person like you see on the street, if you know them well, to maybe your boyfriend, to friends. It's a really overused term and the problem is when you use a word in that way, it loses the value behind it. So what potentially is a very lovely compliment and a really lovely word because it essentially means beautiful, kind of loses the meaning when everybody's using the same expression and they're using it as a way of saying good morning. Like it, it loses the special value that a word like that would normally contain. And I'll give you another example as well, family. Now family is a word that is often used here in Italy when they talk about business. Now, of course, you've got literal family run businesses, businesses that have been in the families for many generations. But then you also have like businesses that operate under the guise of, we are a family. I don't agree with this because I think you are not a family unless you are blood relatives, like when it comes to a business, because you are more of a community in a business environment. If it is not a family run business, you are a community, you are not a family. A family doesn't sack people, a family doesn't discipline people, a family doesn't have to deal with those aspects that an employer does like there's a distinction you can be a community but you're not a family and it's really interesting because i read an instagram post about this very topic and i 100 agreed with everything that it said like you know people use this term willy-nilly like not really considering that the meaning of a family is something that you cannot replicate in a business model like it it, it doesn't go together um and that basically you know people misuse it i think and yeah, I think that's an interesting concept that I've really come to understand is the power of words, like, you know, the meaning behind them, like how we use words. And sometimes we don't think about the words that we're saying, 
but we actually take away some of the meaning from what we want to say because it's something that every Tom, Dick and Harry says. <laughs> um, so I think this is something that I've definitely come to understand. Another aspect of language that I've really come to appreciate, having not been able to fully communicate for all of this time, is when it comes to the power of our words. And I don't think a lot of people realise, but words contain real power. And if you are constantly saying something, a particular story, or you're repeating something that you can or cannot do, I don't think people realise just how much power is attached to each of those individual words that you speak. So a really current example is the students that I teach. You will find some students who repeatedly say that, you know, it's difficult to learn English or they worry they're too old to learn English or they worry that they haven't got the time or it, you find these words being repeated a lot. And what people need to realize is that it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like I'm guilty of this. When I first moved here, I was like, oh my goodness, Italian is really difficult. I can't learn it. I'm never going to learn it. And of course, I'm still sitting here four years in on the just on the journey now to learn the language. So I can tell you from first-hand experience that words are powerful and they do end up becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy. So you have to be careful with the language you speak. Like really consider the words you use when you're in individual situations and when you're dealing with things that are difficult. You need to find a way that you can approach the situation that doesn't mean that you allow yourself to be negatively impacted or hold yourself back. So I think that's definitely something that also that I have observed in the near four years when it comes to communication. And I think essentially what's really important to remember is that communication is very much an individual process. And I think, you know, you shouldn't feel bad if you are learning a language, for example, and it's not happening immediately, or you live in a place where you can't really fully express yourself. Like, don't feel bad about that, but take the lessons from it. Like literally, I may not properly speak Italian, but trust me, I'm no fool. Like I watch everything and I understand how people are just from their actions. Even if I can't fully communicate myself or be understood, I understand how you are just from the way you behave. So I think, you know, communication is something that we all take for granted. We all take it for granted until we're in a situation where we can't express ourselves. And I think it's just really important to, if you're in a position where your communication is limited at the moment, like mine has been all this time, to try and take some lessons from it, try and get a deeper understanding and appreciation of just what it means to be able to interact with other people. Because trust me, when I properly speak Italian now, I am going to feel like I have a greater awareness and knowledge that I would never have gained if I hadn't had these four years of not being able to speak. So yeah, this is what I wanted to talk about today. So I hope you found this video useful, especially if you're learning a language and you feel like, oh my goodness, when am I ever going to be able to speak? <laughs> what good can I take from this situation? If you like this video, I think you'll enjoy this one right here. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.